Crumpton. Kicking it this morning. Breaking into the new time. playground. Yes. Right? Yeah, awesome. Playground. It's right on the lake, Kitty? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. The lake is just right past that tree line. So wow. I'm getting paid to play. It's really cool. Edgewater Park, you know, been here forever. There used to be like literally like this one little swing set and now they just turned it into this beautiful nature play area. It's awesome. And you know what? And uh, we just found out through um, the director of construction that a lot of the stuff here is repurposed. The, the dirt that was used here came from other projects. Uh, the timbers came from other projects. The stones came from other projects. So not the Rolling Stones, but the actual stones that they use here. <laughs> We're going to our Mick Jagger. There we go. You know, or Mick Jagger, like, no, 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 no. All right, Mary, so this is awesome. And you want to talk about the big emphasis on uh, making it nature play, correct? Correct, correct. We are so excited about the Lindsay Family Play Space. It really gives kids an opportunity to spend time out in nature, to do the important things that, that kids need to do to, to help grow their bodies physically, to foster creativity, work together when kids are playing outside. Yeah they sleep better and if you've ever had kids and you know the sleep thing you want them outside where they kind of get themselves all tired out mm -hmm. um, this play space offers lots of great opportunities for these creative kind of experiences something like this yep. which you might also find anywhere in nature so really while we love the Lindsay play space all of nature is your playground yeah it's awesome and we, you know, we really want to get kids to appreciate it and spark their interest in it right correct correct this is a great way to get kids to connect with nature. And, and once they connect, they learn to value nature. They learn the appreciation of the natural world and of environment and, uh -huh. and how to make these sustainable choices that are gonna help us uh, as we move into the future. So there's a method to the madness here. First of all, get them off the, you know, the laptop. Get them off, off the, the, the phones, the phones. And the tablets and all <laughs> of that kind of stuff absolutely absolutely so this is kind of a segue program for you guys because you and i have done tons of stuff together and there are so many nature programs available for the metro parks that kids can get involved in from hiking to sailboating to kayaking to doing all kinds of stuff right 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 absolutely you know we like to say we work with kids of all ages oh kenny you're gonna now i gotta do this and what if i fall huh? Whoa! I thought you there we go all right hand. thank you thank okay. you thank you um we in fact actually with the cleveland metro parks have two locations of our nature-based preschool one at rocky river and one at north Chagrin Reservation. Okay. They run a school year program as well as summer camps. And then through all of our nature centers and other reservations, we have a lot of cool parent child program. Nature Nuts, Tiny Trekkers, all of these other sorts of experiences mm -hmm. uh, where parents and kids together can explore nature. Well, we just saw um, a mother and her son up here. Right, right. Didn't we? Yeah. And what did she say? She was checking it out to go tell the other mom. Right. She said she'll be back here with a horde of kids in the <laughs> afternoon. So, right. And she was like, this is really great. It I is. like it. It is. It yeah. is. Why is that important, Mary, to get kids engaged? I mean, we have tons of reservations. Why is it important to get kids engaged, kids from all backgrounds to get engaged in nature? Uh, you know, again, there are just numerous benefits of having the kids play outside. And you mentioned one there, thinking about this group of kids. It really helps to build their social skills when they're working together creatively to try to figure out how they can take what they find in nature and turn it into a fort and turn it into a, 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 a contest or, or some right. sort of a game. It's, it's working together. It exposes them to kids of, of all sorts of different backgrounds. I mean, this play space is a great example. It's sitting here in the middle of Cleveland, so it is pulling people near and far and gives kids and families a chance to interact with lots of different cool. kinds of I people. I mean, we just sat here, five adults watching these red tail hogs. Oh, it was so right. cool. We were right. just, look at that. It's nature, it's right nature. here. It's nature, it's right here, and it's doing something. What is it doing? How are we doing it? That's all we did. We sat there watching hogs awesome. for 20 minutes. Yeah, it was very cool. It was pretty amazing. Okay, well, Mary's very tall, and I'm very short here. That's right. All right. I am the king of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nobody. Mary's the, she's the king of the mountain. I'll just sit here like this. Oh! Okay, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Mary. Okay. There we go. We're having fun. All right, we're going to show you guys a really cool shot when we come back. But enjoy your new playground. This is awesome. Very nice. Awesome great playground. Place. Yes, that's Very great. Thanks, thanks Kenny. Kenny.